Welcome back, Am Fishers. I'm Bill Jadopoulos, the host of the Am Fish Fishing Vlog Series. Uh, just before dusk here, uh, early September, uh, I'm just fishing a little bit of structure. Hopefully, I can get it. I'm losing a little bit of light, but you'll see. Maybe you can see those two white uh, buoys out there and that grass. Um, just fishing a rock shoal out here, and um, I want to do a video on this. Just about uh, fishing structure uh, later in the day, late in the day like this at dusk, sunset. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, stuff like this, like I said, this stretch probably uh, I've got a 12, 12 and a half foot kayak. I'm probably going to say it's maybe uh, 10, 15 times the width, or sorry, the length of my kayak across. And it's just a, a bumpy rock shoal with a bunch of weeds. Uh, it's marked here with a couple of buoys as well, to so the boaters are aware of it. But um, come around in fish areas like this uh, they're completely uh, stocked sometimes with uh, predator fish you get musky or pike um, that just kind of roam in near these areas uh, at night closer to the end of the day when it's starting to cool off the sun's uh, sun's completely starting to set um, but they'll come in here fish come in to feed bait fish are here uh, you'll see birds and then you'll get these big guys that just kind of cruise around maybe get in a little ambush point and come out and hammer stuff um, so I'm out here casting some some bucktails, uh, trolling a few big pike musky baits, just trying to see if I can get that bite. Um, I haven't seen anything, I haven't had any attempts to it yet, but I'm, I'm still waiting for the sun to dip a little more. We just started the uh, sunset process, we're probably about uh, 30 minutes or so, 35 minutes or so before it's uh, completely gone. But I'm going to work my way around this, uh, this entire rock shoal here. Uh, casting spinner baits, um, you know, trying maybe some top water as soon as it gets a little darker, uh, trolling around it in S patterns, um, just everything. But structure like this, spots like this are, are an absolute haven sometimes for big predator fish. Uh, I was actually shooting a video on a different lake a couple of weeks back uh, about the same, similar topic, just saying, you know what, keep an eye out. It was a great rock shoal I was fishing out there. And um, as soon as I was done the video, I started casting and I got a huge pike uh, that just completely smashed a spinnerbait. And it was like literally five minutes after I stopped shooting the video about fishing uh, structure in open water. But right around me, it's just, it's an open lake. Um, you'll see, I'm not near any land. I'm not close to any land right now, uh, which is why I'm saying when you find these rock shoals here uh, and any type of rock structure, fish them. Especially if it's later part of the day, just go out there and cast your brains out cast a variety of different baits um, and see if you can get that bite like I said you might get into a, a big muskie or a big pike or you might start finding some decent sized walleye that have moved in just to uh, you know attack uh, you'll also see potentially some breaches at times here and then you'll know that fish something is fish uh, something is actually in the area trying to feed um, but don't pass by places like this uh, I'm in a kayak fortunately I'm not in a boat so uh, I can actually get right through this rock shoal. I can go kind of float over it, float around it, pull around it, um, you know, and without really, you know, without really worrying about banging into anything, even if I hit any rocks, I'm just gonna graze over them and get through. But um, getting a little closer to this, hopefully you can see those weeds and the, the buoy markers behind me. Uh, but give it, give it a try, guys. Don't don't pass up spots like this. Uh, early morning's great as well, but uh, that, that dusk bite, those predator fish, um, you know, they may be on the feed and uh, come around here and just kind of hover and wait. And uh, if you throw 15, you know, 10, 15 different baits, uh, 10 times each, uh, you might get that bite. Maybe it's just one bite. I mean, I caught on this exact same spot last year on a chartreuse spinnerbait. I caught my, uh, my largest Canadian bass was about seven, just shy of seven pounds. Uh, great largemouth bass, and it was close to this time. And I was casting right in the middle of those weed pockets right on top of the rock shoal. And I heard it breach. I looked, I saw the breach. I saw a little bit of a, uh, of a fin. Started casting again, went around it one more time, cast, must have dropped it right on its head. Boom, largemouth was on, uh, seven pound, uh, again, just shy of seven pounds, my, my largest Canadian largemouth bass. Uh, but keep it in mind, guys, when you see spots like this, um, get out there and fish them, especially if you're on there on the water at late day. Um, like I said, I can't say it enough, it's absolutely priceless. Uh, you'll get those big guys uh, just cruising and they'll look for spots like this because they'll know and they'll use them as feeding uh, feeding areas. So thanks for tuning in guys. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you at the next ones.